everybody it is me Fizer Bunny and welcome to my overview and first impression on the brand new free world called New Crest for The Sims 4 okay guys so this world has just recently been released today June 11th um, all over the world and I'm really really excited New Crest is the fourth world for The Sims 4 but what's really special about it is that it is an empty world so it is perfect for builders like myself um, but yeah New Crest is also free for everyone to download what you what you have to do to download this world is just log into origin and pretty much accept the game update that it's gonna give you and pretty much you you have new crest all to yourself okay so like i said this is my first impression um and i love this logo by the way i'm really really excited to see new crest um so let's go ahead and actually hop into this world okay there we go okay so new crest yep it does have three neighborhoods uh, new crest has three neighborhoods and each one of them has five lots each um this one actually looks like it has like the smallest lots okay i'm gonna go ahead and read all the different names of the lots for you guys um comfy chubby cubby which is 20 by 15 you know tiles big oak alcove same 20 by 15 a fern park and beach byway 30 by 20 each and midtown meadows it's the largest one on this area this one is optimistic outlook uh hillside highlands civic cliff cookout lookout all these three are like 30 by 20 and sandy run is 40 by 20 and then twin oracle points which is the largest lot in this world uh 50 by 40 and Averse Acres, 40 by 30. Rippling Flats, another 40 by 30. And then Asphalt Abodes, 30 by 20. And uh, finally, Tranquil Crescent, which is a 30 by 30 lot. Okay, so I'm actually going to go ahead and actually move in some of the sims that I have on my bin. So we can actually check out this world in detail. So it really doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and move them to the smallest lot possible and I will see you guys there in just a second, okay guys? Alrighty guys, welcome back to live mode and this is our first neighborhood that we're actually gonna see for new crust <laughs> and okay it looks really nice actually it's surprisingly really modern and i really like that it looks a lot like willow creek in terms of the lighting in terms of the, like the type of plants and stuff but if you guys can see it actually has some really unique buildings around it as well that looks very modern i actually love this side in particular because i don't think it looks anything like what we have but it's really really cute okay so this is pretty much um I'd like to say the poorest neighborhood in you know in this world um, Some of these buildings are actually really pretty. I should like, you know recreate these I think it would be very very possible to recreate these but anyway, okay, so let's check out each one of the lots here Okay, this one is one lot and then over here. I believe we have maybe two Yeah, we have two lots over here actually and then over here We have one lot each as well and we also have like a bunch of different activities over here You can go fishing and then uh, let's see here. What's uh, I thought we can do something with this tree But over here at the back we have like a nice little playground Really cute and we have some grills as well. I love the symmetry of everything as well. Okay uh, But my favorite part of this world or like this neighborhood in this world is this canal over here Which is really freaking adorable. I saw this in the trailer and I was, I was like, oh my god That is a very very beautiful atmospheric, you know touch to this whole world that I think makes it special compared to the other worlds, okay? So now that we've seen this first neighborhood, what I'm actually going to do is check out the other ones. So let's go ahead and hop into the other, the second out of the three neighborhoods that we have for New Crest. Um, and let's go to, um, you know what, this looks like it's where all the rich people are. So let's go to this over here where it's kind of like the medium, like middle income and middle class people would live. Okay. Alrighty guys, we are in the second neighborhood of New Crest and this neighborhood is really interesting actually because all the homes are in like one span of road. You guys get what I mean? It's like one whole side of this 
you know neighborhood that you can actually build in. and i think this would be perfect for like um residential areas where you have like similar looking homes and stuff um but actually this world looks really really pretty over here you have the side overlooking the city and then out the back we actually have like a more natural rural looking area which i really really like we have like a bunch of activities over here as well uh, it looks like we have like a lot of things to collect and stuff we have like a barbecue area i like this area actually it looks very similar to um granite falls which came with outdoor retreat the first ever game pack for the sims 4 and by the way uh, the first ever, the second stuff pack for The Sims 4 has just been announced as well, so I'm really, really excited. I believe it's the patio, perfect patio or something. And then, yeah, pretty much, I think all we get are like, you know, barbecue items and stuff. I don't see anything other than the barbecue items, but it's okay. This would be the perfect place to like move your, you know, middle class Sims and just you know like raise children i think this would be such a good place for that okay but anyway okay i think that's going to be it for the second neighborhood let's go ahead and hop into the third and final neighborhood which is definitely intended for like the more up upper class people i guess or even you know you could this could even be like a commercial center so let's hop on that Alrighty guys, we are back in the third and final neighborhood here in Newcrest and oh my god, I knew it. I told you guys that I was assuming that this part of the world would be like intended for the posh people, quote unquote posh people, and totally it fits the freaking bill. This would totally be where the rich kids would play and all that stuff. It has like a golf course because that's amazing, right? Uh, but not just that, it has like this beautiful lake that kind of runs throughout the surrounding of this world it's very very beautiful and it has like that, that geyser fountain i would love to live here if i had millionaire sims um, i'm looking okay there's a bunch of playgrounds as well i'm really really excited so the camera is like driving me insane uh yeah the camera is probably like making your guys's head hurt but whatever i love these like lake areas i think they're freaking adorable and i don't know it's it's just it's an amazing world you guys it's really really exciting and there's just a lot of possibilities we have like a lot of this would be a perfect place to raise kids as well because you have so many like you know play areas for the children like the jungle gyms and we have this pirate ship we also have like a cute little toilet over here which is a really nice touch and then over here can the sims even go here i don't know I, I, I don't think so but anyway yeah it's it's very very exciting I cannot wait to get building into this world, but you know what you guys what I'm actually gonna do is keep this overview slash first impression part um, You know short uh, My first impression is it's really good. You know, it's definitely making the sims for a little bit worth it knowing that we're getting um, Some free content like this and you know, you might not necessarily you know like it if you're not a builder because you're gonna have to manually place all the different lots and stuff but as a builder it gives me so many different options and possibilities and inspiration as well so yeah i'm um, really really quickly though i want to share to you guys that today is june 12th actually here in manila philippines and it is my country's independence day so to all the filipinos out there watching i just want to wish everyone a happy independence day so yeah no classes chill chill today and yep hopefully i can record a couple of videos for you guys as well but anyway i'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this part up right here okay guys so as usual please don't forget to hit that like favorite and subscribe button because it's really gonna help out this channel a lot and as usual you all have an awesome 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 day thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much and i will see you guys next time bye bye